In this video, we're going to explore how we can do something more uh, exciting or more advanced with Chart.js because just displaying a chart or a legend is probably not the most exciting part of Chart.js. What is really exciting is how you can control or manipulate based on pressing buttons, which means that we will update the chart, and in this case specifically the legend. Let's say we want the legend and we want to control the position of that. So if we're going here, let's go to our JavaScript, we have this part here where we can say here the position. And what we want to do is we want to control the position from top to bottom, left to right, depending on the clicks that the customer has or the, or the viewer has that maybe they want to press on. So how can we do this? Well, let's break this down step by step so we have an understanding of it. All right. So the first thing what you're going to do is we need to have a button that being triggered on click. All right. So once we click that, then let me make sure we just spell it correctly. Once we click that, we need to connect button to JS. All right. Once we have connected that, it should trigger it, trigger a new function. And once we trigger the function, the function itself must update the chart. And we will be using a chart dot update for that. All right. So let's start and explore this. And these are the four steps we need to take. So let's look at where we are right now. Right now, we have no button here at all. So let's make here one button first. So we're going to create here, and I have here this basic, this is a basic bootstrap design here. It's very straightforward. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a button here at the bottom. So below canvas, I'll just make a uh, horizontal line. And, in the hor and below the horizontal line, we'll give it a button. And let's make this button here. Oh, all right. And we give this a class. We can say here button btn uh, lg btn dark. So we have a nice button, and then we also say um, not button block, no, it's width 100. All right, this is bootstrap 5, where we're using the new commands is width 100 instead of button block. So refresh here, there we are. We have a button, but let's put some text in here. Uh, set to bottom. So the reason I'm putting set to bottom is what I want to do is I want to position this one basically or the position will be bottom for here for now. Later on, we can add up four more buttons or three more buttons. But when we click on it, this should just go down here. That will be our first exercise. All right, we've got everything here. We can create here an on click method, but I would say don't use it here. This is very intrusive, they say. And what is probably more better is to connect it directly in JavaScript here. So, what we have to do first, of course, is give an ID here. ID here. Um, Position and I say bottom. But bottom. Alright. Save this. Then we have our ID. So now what I want to do is I want to first make sure we have everything working or see what we need to do. First things first is we have the button trigger. We did this. Now we need to connect it to the JavaScript. So what we need to do here is we create a const and this const will be position bottom. That's for simple for simplicity and then we say here document dot get element by id and the reason why is we want to pinpoint that specific id so we pinpoint that id which is exactly the same name so it will save us some uh, confusion or it avoids any confusion for for in the future so we have this one now so now we only have this button here we'll click or, or you click on it and it's now connected to javascript so javascript understands we have pinpointed something in HTML. Now what we want to do is we want to create an add event handler. So we're going to say here the following, get this constant, and then say here dot add event uh, listener, sorry, not ha handler, listener. And then in here, you want to indicate a few things. First of all, event listener or add event listener will indicate one, uh, two options. First of all, the click or what kind of event, which will be a click. So we're going to put click in quotation because this is a string. And then here, we won't use quotation because this will be a function name. So basically, it's a constant itself or a variable itself. So we say here, 
let's give it a proper name or maybe, uh, most easiest one would be legend uh, bottom for now all right so we have this legend bottom so now we can create a function and this function is called legend bottom of course and then in here let's start with the item here all right so what are, what are we going to do here what do we want to do well just let's double test this first by testing the console log so let's say here bottom all right so if i click on this i should see now in the console log the text bottom to see if it works so let's open up our developer tab and then you can see here oh all right there's something going wrong if i click on it all right that event listener is not uh all right oh, sorry incorrect spelling listener so n and r save this refresh now all right everything works press here and you can see now there you are bottom all right this has confirmed our connection so now we can call this out we don't need this basically so now we have this we created this what we need to do now is the following is trigger the function and create in the function the following we need to indicate that we want to update the chart and we have this pinpoint which chart we want to update and then we need to say all right what do we want to uh, focus on which would be the position here so let's do this from first because this will be your most important one all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go and select my chart because that's a constant for this chart we're going to get, get that one and then we get dot and then what are we going to do here is where we're going to go not in data type but we're going here in options all right and in options we go to plugin and then legend so, so options dot plugins and then dot legend all right so once we've got that here now we can say here position and we can say equal whatever we want to put in here let's say here well in our case it should be bottom small caps bottom fair enough so once we have this basically we have now pinpointed this so and we can double check this if you want how do we double check this basically getting all of this in the console log then we can see what is our current one so let's say here i'll just make this top so we can confirm whatever we have right now here all right refresh open up the tab and do we have the console log all right you can see now it's top and the reason why it's top is because of this here we say chart area save again refresh all right click there you are so this confirms our connection so what we're doing here now is confirmed so let's remove this again or count this out and put this all together so the following what we want to do now is we want to set this to something new so let's save this so it's right now here set on chart area and the moment we connect or press this it should become the position of bottom what we do need to do here is to update the chart so we say here which chart are you going to update remember our chart here is a constant which is the my chart so my chart dot update so we'll update that specific chart once we did that save this now let's see refresh press and as you can see here it went from chart area down to the bottom all right but once you press on bottom it stays at the bottom which is okay that's normal because we already repositioned it so let's try this again refresh here you can see you're up and bam there you are so now we're almost done but of course our assignment was not to put only one item we want to put them for so we want to play around with them so what we're going to do first is we go back here and here we're going to build now four buttons and of course you can make them nice oh sorry you can make them nicer by putting them four in a row or five let's i'll make this five in this case so this will be id and then here will be a chart area that will be fine and this would be top bottom and then we say here left and right all right so I say right left bottom is fine top and chart area chart area 
All right, so we have now five functions. Uh, let's go here now. We can duplicate this, and of course, you could do it differently. You could make it more efficient. I'll do that next time. However, the most important right now here is just to give you a clear example. And later on, we can re re uh, restructure it or refactor it. So now here we have here chart area, legend chart area. All right. Here we have, let's say this is right and this is left and bottom and top. There we are. Let's copy this four more times. Let me say here, I will just make this one top. This one I will say left, right, and oh, chart area. Oh. Here we are. Same here, chart area. And then we say here, right, left, and top. So here, same story, you will pinpoint exactly the same items. So this will be top, and here will be as well, top, left, left, right, and one more time, right, and finally, chart area. Chart area, there you are, anybody gives a suggestion, that's nice. There you are. So now we have everything. And there we are, yes, yes, yes. So here, now what we can do is here, chart area, exactly the way it should be written here. This is the right, so right in small caps, left, and finally top. All right, let's save this. Now you can see here we got everything. Let's refresh and see what's going on here. All right. You can see I want to just give it a slightly more better uh, space. So margin bottom three. There we are. All right. So this should not only be, I guess this could be small. There we go. Refresh. All right. So now we are here. We put it on the top, and then we push it here on the bottom. There we are. And to the left, and right, and back to chart area. And this is how you can play around with it. And this is really how we use it to reposition. Of course, with this here right now, we can play around even more. I will show it maybe in the next video where this can refactor it into one single function. So if you like these kind of videos. And enjoy about learning how, more how you can use chart.js and specifically chart.js uh, legends and all kind of charts. Check out my course. You can find a link in the description. And if you have any questions going to this, put them in the comment section below.